19 in the affirmative, 20 in the negative. In Annapolis today, Maryland lawmakers trying to get ahead of any federal shutdown in the future. So we're fortunately going to take some bold step, I think, to protect people who need to have income while they're actually working. House Democrats passed emergency legislation to address what some call a gap in the federal rules on unemployment. In order to apply for benefits, you must be able to work. So thousands of NASA workers furloughed without pay could file, but 600 TSA officers at BWI required to work without wages could not. Opponents call the measure moot since the feds ultimately have the final say. First of all, if you start doing this now, how many more federal shutdowns are we going to face? How much money is this going to cost the state of Maryland? The vote today came amid dismal new economic data, a surprise drop in retail sales in December, the largest plunge in nearly a decade. Analysts say the federal government shutdown was a big factor. And Maryland's controller, Peter Francho says our state is paying the price. Yes, it's had a big impact on consumer spending, which is what our state economy is based on. And uh, it's also had an emotional shock impact on future spending, we predict, uh, even for those folks that are fully reimbursed. The controller and other officials talk about a ripple effect of the shutdown. And listen to this. Here's how wide that ripple is. That report, that retail sales report itself was delayed by the five week shutdown. And the Commerce Department still hasn't said when it will release the data for January. Reporting live downtown tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.